of the Jackal, and this is a review of Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons Battle Blades Optimus Prime. He is a Voyager class. Um, really, really nice figure. Um, if you didn't really get um, much to the Hunt for the Decepticons leader Optimus or the original Revenge of the Fallen Optimus, this is a great figure to um, catch up on because it's nearly, uh, nearly the exact same. And it's completely worth it, so, yeah. So, here he is in his Peterbilt 379 uh, truck mode. Uh, really nice. Um, got some nice slimes going on on the side. Doesn't have it right there. But, um, I think it does show on the Revenge of the Fallen. So, yeah. I think it's flames on top. So, yeah. Otherwise, the blue's really nice, along with the red. Got some flames there. Got a nice grave um, for the gas tank and the little container back here. Nice silver for the smokestacks, then a gray for the real smokestack. So finally, we got some painted rims. Yay! So yeah, got an Autobot logo right there. It's super tiny, but if you scratch with it on with a thumbnail, you can definitely feel it. So yeah. For a comparison, here he is with the Dark of the Moon Fireburst Optimus. So, uh, Dark of the Moon has the bigger gas tanks, um, no painted rims. You get a more blockier sleeper on the back. Um, yeah, you, um, on the back, it's completely different because this one's more truck realistic. This one's more like a weird something with gigantic gas tanks. So, yeah. So, I mean, really nice figure. I really love this. Um, one of my uh, favorite movie figures. Um, so, yeah. So, um, transformation um, is nearly simple. Um, by the way, there is the uh, bottom. On Revenge of the Fallen, uh, the legs, this is how far the legs were. The legs um, were in one piece and the feet were like separated into like three different uh, panels. But yeah, that changes on this figure. So um, first what you want to do, I'm going to pop this out. You can flip these smokestacks down like that. Then on that peg, you want to flip these up. There should be a peg hole. It's hard to see. It's like right there. Just have it in. Then you want to spin these an angle like that. You want to come to this wheel well. Flip back the flames. Then untap them from this gold piece like that. And just spin it around. And I come to the front, tab this down. Then you can come back here. Well, actually, no, you don't want to do this yet. Just leave that like that. But you want to untab that. You want to basically, unpeg everything. And just rotate this up. And there's his entire leg section that just forms the complete bottom of the truck. So. Now what you want to do is you want to accordion every single leg piece like that. So you want to flip down the toes. Now you want to flip these back. Then you can separate the legs if you want. Then you can take these. I always left them down like this. I don't know why. But you can move them up. And there's a little panel to stop it. So you can stand this up. Put down the knee pads. Uh, now you want to accordion this. Tap it in first, then tap it in again, and finally, there's another tab right there. And in the back of the truck, there's that. So then you want to take this. Where you see those little pegels, want to tab them right to the back panels of Optimus, like that, 
So, I got Optimus partly done. Then you want to come up here. I'm going to pull these down. Then you want to split these. You want to get in. There came the matrix. Alright. Let me fix this real quick. Don't want to show off a little surprise first. So, yeah. So, now you got the head out. Then you can take it to the little panel. That broke off accidentally. I was just messing around and it broke off. So, But it still works. So, yeah, you want to take that little part and just in that divot. Get it in like that. You want to take the little side window pieces. You want to flip out the doors. Just tab them in and this chest piece. Again, flip out the door. Tab in. You want to flip back up the smoke stack. I'm going to fold up the arm. Take this little shoulder bit and flip it up. Again, flip that up. And you can take the little visor. Flip it up and angle it like that. And when I come to the arms, flip this panel open, flip out the sword, flip out his hand, flip that back in. I'm gonna push this out. I'm gonna spin it and rotate that up. And you wanna bend the arm a little bit so this panel can get back and you can bend it back to hold it in place. There's his right arm. Again, flip that open. Flip up the sword. Flip up the hand. Step back in. Pull it down. Get it up. And spin it around. Bend the arm. Da da da. And there is Transformers Hunter Decepticons Battle Blades Optimus Prime. He is a really nice figure. Like I said. I really like this robot mode. If you didn't, like I said, if you didn't get the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Optimus or the Hunter of the Septicons Leader Optimus, this really, really makes up for it. Um, this is basically almost the exact same um, transformation, except the other one had a little more doing with the chest area. Um, the arm kibble was different. Um, yeah. But still, really, really nice figure. So, um, articulation-wise, um, it's just you could make a lot of poses with this. Um, first, you got head. Without these little pieces there, it does go 360. So, if you want to flip up his head, do like that. So, it does get in the way with these little window. So, then you got arms going out here. You got 360 up around. You got rotation right there. Elbow. I guess you get a little wrist if you're doing the transformation. But same with the other arms. No waist. Um, you got 180 legs. Well, nearly 180 legs. You got this, but with the uh, wheels in the way. You can. Yeah. And if you flip these, or if you unpick the tires, you can get a leg swivel. That's what I do. I just pop them off and set them a little back. And you got knees and got some ankle. So, yeah. Um, let me get him back in shape. And he does come with um, two nice... Um, blades has some gold for the blade parts too on both sides and it's just gray um, for the rest of them and um, quick thing if you notice those little blue pieces right there there's here's the uh, dark of the moon Walmart exclusive opt uh, Optimus is the exact same see that little blue piece you can take these off take the hooks off and put them on um, this guy 
you could take the blades and put on this guy. I did try it. Um, they transform the exact same. So it's just a little um, FYI. So, um, but yeah, he does come with guns. Come to the back. Just wanna unpeg the gas can and like that. And it does come unpegged when you do that, so let me. There we go. Then, where you see the barrel, just flip it out like that. So it's like that. And what I usually do is, um, I do, um, with the little canister pointing in, basically, um, it also helps to hold these panels up because they do get loose and they fall down. But I also do it where where they pig in. I do it on that hand. So, um, yeah. So there is Optimus with his guns. And it does still work with the uh, other um, Voyager 2. And a robot mode comparison, here he is with, of course, the Dark the Moon exclusive Optimus. So besides the hooks, um, basically the differences between these two is that Dark of the Moon, his mouth plate is open, this guy's um, got a mouth plate. Um, it doesn't, this one doesn't have the modified chest where he has those little abs, um, but still. Um, you got some more paint apps right here with the moon on his windshield so otherwise the exact same figure it's just different so, yeah then a little surprise with this guy um just want to flip his arms down i want to get these back up this is coming and picked again you want to take his red chest piece and there's a little cute mini Matrix of Leadership. Those come out. And there's a spark. So yeah, it's really nice. Um, get some holes, you could barely see that. So, yeah, pegs in on the back. So, they yeah, a really nice feature that they put in, especially after Revenge of the Fallen. So, and yeah, there's some more detailing on that. So, yeah. So I get really, really nice figure. If you haven't picked this up, I would definitely, definitely do it. Um, I think, there we go. Um, one of the greater figures other than, like, um, uh, ah, there goes his gun. His guns would usually stay, but, um, yeah. This is definitely better than the Revenge of the Fallen um, Voyager Optimus mold, where he had the flat face. Um, actually, yeah, let me grab him. So, yeah, I mean, you could really tell that this one is obviously better than that one. I mean, this was a great figure. This was. I really like the first strike Optimus from the first movie, but still. So, um,. So this has been the review of Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons, uh, Voyager Class, Battle Blades, Optimus Prime. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, share this video if you want to. Um, going to try to get the prizes for the contest. I'm sorry that I've been holding up um, on that. It's just been a rough time lately, uh, especially with the surgery. Um, so, yeah. So, again, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, hauls, vlogs, and plenty more to come. So, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.